Hey yo, hey yo, it's DJ the Diva coming at you with another video. Y'all, I am so tired today. I am so physically, emotionally, spiritually wiped out. And I hope I get plenty of rest tonight. Because I didn't last night because I was having a really bad, um rheumatoid flare-up. If any of you guys have arthritis, rheumatoid, or any other, um, if Arthur's been coming to pay you a visit in the last week or two, give me a comment down below and let me know how you are handling that. Not only that, it's allergy season. So I always... Y'all, this is so funny. I always wake up at 4.44 a.m. Sometimes I'm able to get back to sleep. Sometimes I'm not. But it's always that time in the evening. When I go to look at the clock, it always says 4.44 p.m. Something with that 4.44. I don't know. Anywho. Um, this is my evening snack. I have a cup of sherbet. It's a hundred calories. Rainbow sherbet. I love it. <laughs> this is one of my childhood favorites. Um, speaking of childhood, I think my honey was being childish yesterday he helped me um label some of the chicken that i was putting away in freezer bags and i told him to write chicken breast and the date well he said well that isn't necessary we know what's in it you're just being extra so what he wrote on the package was chicken titties. That really ticked me off. He thought it was so funny. Namaste. Namaste. I kicked him out my kitchen. He was still, and when I came back through the living room, he was still laughing. Which made me even matter. Jeez. So, yeah, that's that's as much as our arguments get. We don't usually argue. What we do is discuss. And then if we can't come to a resolution, we just agree to disagree. So that really works for us. I don't know how anybody else handles their relationships, but that's what we do. We're laid back people. We give each other our space. You know, we communicate often. We never say mean things to one another out of anger because those are things you can't take back. And I'm not, not that type of female. You got to know how to handle me. And uh, two months out the way and your girl is gone. I don't stick around, around in a relationship for pretty much nothing. I have deal breakers. I have boundaries set. Don't cross them. Don't cross them or you'll be single. <laughs> and he knows that. But you have to have that mindset and boundaries in every relationship that comes in your life, whether it's your parent, your child, your your uh, friend, your spouse, cat, dog, grandchild, whoever. You have to have boundaries set to where you don't allow people to treat you a certain amount of way. 
a certain way. You have to teach people how to treat you, you know. And, you know, it doesn't it doesn't matter whether somebody shares your DNA or not. I've been saying this for years. If they're toxic and they're taking your joy and your peace, you need to love them and pray from the, for them from a distance. Over there. Bye. <laughs> Girl, bye. Boy, bye. <laughs> I know how to love and pray for somebody from a distance without... Have them participate in my life. Period. So, in saying that, I was dealing with my stomach woes because I finally figured out that I have an allergy to certain breads and certain meats. Red meat and pork. And like I said yesterday, in my repackaging videos and in my shopping haul video, I had just eaten a beef and cheddar from Arby's. And it had bacon on it also. My stomach was out to here. I looked like I was about five or six months pregnant. And it was painful. I can't do that no more. Can't do that to myself. I know it's good. <laughs> it's good, huh? <laughs> but no. No, no, no. I can't do that to me no more. It's an allergy just like anything else. Would I go around sniffing dust and dirt and pollen knowing that I have seasonal allergies? No. That's ludicrous. That's crazy. So why would I go eat something that I know is going to hurt me? That's why, as I said in the last video, it's very, very important to pay attention to your body and the signals that it gives you. Whether it's food drink something, a uh, lotion or something, uh, medicine, or people. There's many different toxicities in this world. And our bodies will give us a signal that something ain't right. Now with that, I got the swelling, swelling all over. The extended gut with the pain. Um, I got little hives and I, I could like collected water weight to where I couldn't even wear my jewelry. I couldn't even wear my watch because my hand was swelling up around it. Now, let's get this straight. I was going through an arthritis flare. I was going through an arthritis flare. And, you know, so, but I wasn't that bad until I did that. Till I consumed that sandwich. I couldn't even eat the fries or shake that came with it, honey. Nope, I could not. And let's just say I, I couldn't even get halfway through the burger before that started happening. So, no, I know that is a no-no for me. Um, Have you guys ever um, reacted that way to food without realizing that you were allergic if you so give me a comment in the comment box below um i really haven't had any food allergies until i got older um i'm still in my 40s uh mid 40s so i'm just trying to figure out since I had my double mastectomy and stuff, my body has completely changed. It changed the whole chemistry of my body, the whole makeup of my body. Uh, so I'm learning, slowly but learning. Some, some uh, lessons are painful, some are not. I can't do the same things I used to do. I can't use some of the same products I used to use. 
Um, I can't do some of that same exercise or m even body movements that I used to do. Um, like even getting out of bed. I can't just sit straight up. No, because my abdominal muscles were used to make my breast. So there's medical mesh all in here. So sitting up like that will throw my stomach into something similar of a charley horse because my organs will be fighting for positions and I, I just did the wrong thing. I got to turn over on my side, throw my legs over and push myself up easy. A lot of changes. A lot of changes. Dietary changes. Medicine. Medicinal changes. You name it, physical limitations. And that was from somebody who worked out like a fiend. Now I'm talking about, I was at, I had six kids, a flat, six pack stomach, 125 to 130 pounds. That was me. But, you know, with changes, there's growth. I always got to put a positive spin on it because I'm a very optimistic person. If I get down, there's something really, really wrong. Um, anybody knows me, I'm always optimistic. I'll be optimistic until the last moment till I know that's the end, you know. And speaking of the end, this is what I, the message I want to convey. Quit letting things and people put a period on the end of your sentence. Quit letting people and things put a period at the end of your story. Quit letting people and things... Put a period where God meant there to be an exclamation mark. He promised us a, an abundant life. But if we keep letting outside influences put a period where he wanted to put an exclamation mark, we'll never get anywhere. We'll never have any growth. We'll never elevate to the next level. Be a leader, not a follower. Be a creative if you want to. Dance if you want to. Draw. Paint if you want to. Follow that specific career if you want to. Try new things. You won't be great at all. You won't fail at all. There's nothing wrong with change. Change is growth. Growth takes knowledge and wisdom. Patience. Don't let pe people put a limit on what God said is limitless. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. All we have to do is invite him in. Invite him in your situation. Just like I said. I had invited God in every arena in my life but my workout. But my workout journey, my weight loss journey. But ever since I did that, it seems like every few days I'm dropping two pounds and that waist is getting snatched. I'm like, okay, thank you, Lord. Make the waist flatter and the booty fatter. <laughs> you got to be specific in your prayer and what you ask for, you know. So, in saying that, write your list. Write the list of the things you would have to ask God for. Make it five things that's your priority that you want to ask him for in order to enhance your life and stick it in your Bible. Stick it in your Bible. And pray about it and watch God work. Watching work with a exclamation mark and not a period. Amen. <laughs> All right, you guys. I just wanted to say good night. 
Um, I'm calling it a night early. I'm going to take me some uh, bear boss. Bat bear boss. <laughs> bear. Back and body. <laughs> Arthritis arthritis medicine and I'm eating my night snack already I'm gonna drink my water and watch TV until TV's watching me <laughs> take my supplements I take all my supplements pretty much there's some I take at night um, I had read somewhere where if you take your supplements at night when your body's at rest and it's able to absorb it and without any interruptions, foods or any other thing you might consume. And it just, it's able to work better. So I like trying to take my supplements at night. Um, I will be coming to you guys with a video for my online purchase hauls. Uh, that's one. And, oh, I forgot. I totally forgot. I'm going to do a haul on what I got for Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, if I haven't said it to all the mothers out there. Uh, whether your mother's from birthing a child or just from giving them your heart. There's mothers and there's motherhood in all facets and forms. Happy Mother's Day to anybody who's opened their heart and loved and nurtured and cared for and guided a child. <laughs> okay? I love you guys to life. Peace. Smash that like and subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share my videos with your friends and family, loved ones, and your subscribers. I want you to act blessed, talk blessed, walk blessed, and be a blessing to who? Be a blessing to the Lord by blessing somebody else. Hashtag stay prayed up. Hashtag stay safe. Hashtag stay home. Hashtag stay clean. And hashtag stay alive, honey. And if you do all those things before you get to the alive part, you will stay alive. <laughs> stay quarantined. Stay quarantined. When you cannot wear your mask, wear your gloves, or hand sanitizer, wipes, disinfectant wipes, carry them with you. Carry them with you, I'm telling you. Uh, if you can shop a month at a time, do that. Do so. If you can shop two or three weeks at a time, do that. You know, whatever you can do to do your part in order to keep not only you and your family safe, but others, your neighbor, your friends, your anybody you come in contact if you can do that, you are already being a blessing to the Lord because you're blessing somebody else with health and safety. All right, this is Teach the Diva. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, you guys. I love you to life.